What's up, fire family? It's Karen Fire, and welcome back to Valheim. Today, we're going to be looking at some of my top tips and tricks for this game. This is part two. I'm going to be going over some sweet and short tips in this video that you might or might not know. And at number one, we have the cultivator. With the cultivator, you can put grass back down onto dirt, but if you didn't know, you can also place lily pads and reeds onto shallow water with the same feature. So if you want to spruce up that moat or anything like that a little bit more, then, well, you can absolutely do that in this game. Number two is getting rid of grass in your base will stop raids spawning into your base. If you have a problem with raids spawning into the inside perimeter of your base, well, that might be because you have grass in the area. If you remove that, replace it with stone or dirt, then you won't have that problem anymore. My next tip is lights that never burn out, that you never have to refuel. If you get a Sertling trophy off Sertlings, you can put this on an item stand and it basically acts like a free light source that you never have to refuel again. My next tip is about holstering items. If you don't realise in the game, if you were to press R on your keyboard, if it's not R, double check your options. You can actually pop away your weapons, all of the ones you have out in an instant, instead of pressing the keys to put them away. And it also puts on your back so you're able to look at your weapons. If you didn't know about this, it's a pretty nice feature and it's nice because you're able to see your equipment uh, instead of just holstering it somewhere else that you cannot see. My next tip is about rested buff. Now, of course, you know when you sleep or you hang around an air of fire, you're going to get a rested buff. But if you didn't know, you can actually increase the time on your rested buff by putting better furniture here into your house. If you put one of every item, let's say, in your house, then your buff can get up to even 20 minutes into the game. Of having a rested buff from hanging around in your house which is really awesome so put down all the rugs you could put down some brassiers you could also put down beds and thrones and this should make uh, the comfort level of your house a lot better than it was and that means you're going to get a much better rested buff my next tip is about the plains biome if you didn't realize if you go at night in the plains biome that's when goblin patrols come out and they actually hunt around the plains and it could be way more dangerous than going in the day I actually recommend you go to the plains in the daytime because then you don't get those patrol units of goblins coming after you then and then all you have to really worry about is death mosquitoes or their camps or the loxes in the area my next tip was about totems i saw some people struggling on getting a bunch of these you can usually get them in goblin camps but if you didn't know there's actually a drop chance if you kill the big berserkers from these camps from the fueling camps you can actually get totems that drop out of those too and it's the same with the shamans, they can also rarely drop one of those totems as well. My next tip is about removing markers from the map. If you didn't know, you can actually remove the markers you plop down on the map. All you need to do is right click on them to get rid of them. Then you don't have all of these things all over your map when you've misplaced them. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know if this video helped you out on anything or you learned anything new. Thank you for watching, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!